Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we have some amazing PR products here that we're gonna try today and I'm gonna share with you my first impressions and yeah, I try to get more products who are going towards more, not just non-toxic, but also plastic free products. Um, yeah, it's really hard to find something like that. Um, a lot of new clean beauty products are popping out but not too many products zero waste so we have here three companies um, that they gifted me their product and I'm gonna re review them today and I'm gonna share my opinion uh, my first impressions about this product and Safo new paradigm liquid foundation we have here in the shade Lisa today to try and then we have some eyeshadows from Principal Beauty. And this is a very interesting product. Uh, it's a, a non-packaging. Uh, it's just this cardboard. And then we have this beautiful uh, palette in a cork. Um, just that's it, as is. That's this is the only packaging that it has. So a lot of zero waste thought put in this. And I am really, really impressed by that. And then we have some lipstick products from Noya Beauty and um, lipsticks and lip 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 balm lip gloss lip gloss and actually their lip gloss uh, packaging is not 100% plastic. It's made from sugarcane, which is very intriguing, very interesting. And their uh, lipstick is in bamboo, so that's plastic here. So. Yeah, this is what we're gonna get through today. So if you wanna hear my thoughts on that, keep on watching. So we have the Safo New Paradigm uh, Liquid Foundation in Lisa. And I noticed on their website, this foundation, um, it has a wide range of colors. It has 14 shades to choose from, from light to dark, like chocolate dark. And, um, a little bit turned off by names because uh, by looking on the website you can tell which name sh shade you might be so that's not very helpful actually um, but uh, talking on the Instagram actually uh, I was helped to pick this shade by um, Safo and they recommended this shade to suit me best and I'm really interesting if you will and quite an interesting bottle so so Safo is all natural um organic sustainable ethical mineral based um makeup line and um, vegan for those who are interested in vegan products their foundation retails for 54 dollars so it's not cheap and it's one ounce it's very very pricey in my opinion comparing to other foundation on the market not that much expensive comparing to other foundations but sometimes they range around 30-ish kind of 40-ish um so this feels a little bit like on the lux price in my opinion it's not cheap and um yeah i expect this to work amazing uh it says on the website it's a rich organic formula created for light to medium coverage imparting a soft satin finish that lasts and for ingredients it is aloe vera based it has calendula which should be very calming for the skin chamomile a lot of bunch of oils um, it has butters like and let's see if it has a scent and Oh, the foundation has kind of like an alcohol smell to it, <laughs> which is quite interesting. Okay, so shade Lisa. Let's do a swatch. I'm gonna take a pump. And from their website, um, this shade it looked kind of like a light medium. Let's see, it's kind of suiting me well. I will have gone for something a little bit warmer to match my skin. As you can see, I'm tan only on my face during winter time. That's what happens. My face uh, gets tan, not my neck. So let's see. It's supposed to be a light to medium formula. And let's see if he does that. I'm gonna try it. 
I'm using this foundation on my skin without any primer because I can tell if a foundation is good without using a primer like foundation shouldn't need a primer um, in my opinion because sometimes moisturizer and oils that we are using they are acting like a primer and yeah we shouldn't be we shouldn't need to apply any primer actually because we want our skin to breathe so yeah i think in the future all this foundation should work without primer i'm gonna take another pump so the bottle comes with the pump and i'm gonna apply a little bit on my forehead we're doing kind of face uh half face just to kind of compare a little bit to see if it does anything to my face because sometimes these light medium foundations are kind of tricky and they don't usually work <laughs> too well but let's see i'm trying to build it up as you can see right now um this is one area that i like to have some coverage on because i have sunspots and sunspots now the foundation feels um, how should i say this like it's very light, lightweight when you apply it and it kind of dries out um probably because i smell the alcohol is an alcohol based foundation so once you apply it and all those alcohols you know evaporate um the foundation the foundation feels like it dries out and that's what i feel actually on my face i'm gonna take a little mirror here and yeah you can see the difference right away um definitely is a light to medium coverage it feels like skin like my skin it doesn't feel like i put anything on my face and it's just i don't know it feels like it's vanished i have a little bit more on my hand so let's see if we can build it up a little bit more in some areas and you see i use only my fingers and I don't know when I look at my face it doesn't look like I applied something so let's see if we do this it's building up even more because I can cover my sunspot so then I I know you can see my skin then okay that's kind of it's not doing what I want okay Okay, so right off the bat, I can tell that right away that my face, my skin just look like skin. Like it doesn't look like I apply anything on it. And I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna try to use it um, where usually I need a concealer just to show you what it does to my face because it's correcting a little bit my skin so it doesn't look like much it does look like something very light actually i'm not gonna say it's available to a medium because the more i apply i feel like it's not doing anything but what i really really like actually is that my face it, it you can tell that i apply anything so it kind of blurs my skin a little bit it colors correct as you can see uh, i look very tired on this side and then if you look on this side i kind of look a little bit more put together right is this just my opinion so it's matching my neck color so if you're looking for a warm light to medium a little bit to medium warm light this is lisa lisa shade so yeah i'm just gonna apply it on the other side right now and so i finished applying the foundation on my other half of the face and right wow i'm just like wow seriously it looks amazing i really like that it feels like feels like more like on the light side this foundation but i don't know it's something about it it feels kind of like a moisturizer in a way because i feel like 
I don't know, my, my face feels so good, like balanced, I will say. It doesn't feel mm, really velvety, it doesn't feel mm, like I apply much, but it kind of feels like I applied a primer with a color correcting kind of effect. I don't know if that makes sense. Does it look like I apply anything on my skin? It just looks so good. I think I should put so much less in the future. I have an area where I put, I think, too much. You can see it. I can still move it. But I think this foundation looks so good. Like, seriously. I'm really, really, really impressed how good it looks for a light coverage. And yeah. I wish it was a little bit more coverage for the price. Um, but yeah, I, I, my skin feels so, I don't know, balanced. That will be my opinion. We are moving on to the beautiful principal eyeshadow palette. This is a 100% plastic free palette, uh, plastic free packaging, sustainable ingredients. Um, this is called Des Desert Nomad Palette 01. It's the only product that they have. Uh, they launched, I think, recently because I just found them on Instagram. I reached out to them if they were willing to send me on one of their palettes. The palette retails for $48. It has three shimmer, six matte eyeshadow. It's vegan, cruelty free, non toxic. And 100% pure compostable makeup packaging. Like I mentioned, it only has this plastic free cardboard, kind of like a sleeve, I would call it. And then it has this beautiful cork um, packaging uh, where the makeup sits. So, nine eyeshadows for $48. Uh, these are not expensive. Usually, in a natural and organic beauty world, an eyeshadow retails from $10, $12, $15 per piece. So, this is kind of like a little bit more than $5 per eyeshadow, which is not very pricey. So, you get these nine eyeshadows. I'm going to swatch them first, and then we're going to test it out and see how these perform. So I'm swatching first uh, the top row of the light shades and these are called Sands, Sunglow and Flow and I made a mess like these are so powdery and Sands supposed to be a shimmer it's more on the satin side and then we have Sunglow which is a matte Flow which is also a shimmer it looks more shimmery in the pan then in the swatch as you can see they look more kind of on the satin side not shimmery I will say nothing shimmery in here in my opinion okay now we're gonna move to the second row which is we have a pink we have horizon red rock and mesa and these are all matte shades And you can see how beautiful the pigmentation is actually it's especially in these browns it's so intense and then i'm gonna swatch the last row and then we have sienna saguaro and palo verde and we have palo verde is the only shimmer in here and then the other ones are matte Now the greens are quite similar, I will say it's slight, um, very slight difference between them. Um, one's supposed to be shimmery, the Palo Verde, the last one's supposed to be shimmery, but I don't see any shimmer in it. Actually, it's not that shimmery, but yeah, uh, the pigmentation is there, as you can see. And we are going to apply it all over my eyes and see how they're going to perform. 
we kind of have like a basic palette and then we have some greens we are going to create um smoky eye actually uh this palette has kind of like warm tones it's gonna suit i believe anybody it's very very uh well done even though some shades are kind of similar these greens and then it has some shimmers which are not very shimmery um so yeah i'm not gonna i'm just gonna stop right there okay so let's use let's see which shades should we use today i am gonna go from light to dark i guess i like to use a blending brush to do that so i'm gonna use the lightest shade in my palette which is called sands and i'm gonna highlight under my brow bone Ooh, that's pigmented Now, even though it's, this is called a shimmer, um, it's pretty much a matte. Um, once I apply it, and even in my swatch, I notice that it's more matte than shimmer. Even though it has some sparkles in it. Then I'm gonna take the shade, this kind of like peach shade, which is called Horizon, which is a matte, and I'm gonna put it in the crease. And then I'm gonna take a flat brush and I'm gonna dig into this medium brown red rock. And then I'm gonna go under lower lash with Massa. And then I'm gonna use my blending brush again. I'm gonna dip it again into the red rock and just blend. A little bit into the dark Massa color just a little bit and then I'm gonna take this pink color which is the horizon and just apply it on my lid now I want to wet a little bit the shade the shimmery shade that I started with sands and let's see if it's gonna pop when we apply wet because some of these natural and organic usually shades um they are popping when you wet them so let's see if i can do that it works a little bit better i guess i'm gonna apply some mascara and i'll be right back now nail cosmetics uh it's a sustainable um mineral based product is food based natural organic cbd beauty products and they have this new cbd um they just launched their cbd lip balm and yeah this is something new and i really like that they try to do better and better with their ingredients and they have eco packaging uh, their lipsticks are in this beautiful bubble plastic in this beautiful bubble uh, outer packaging so it's using uh, less plastic as you might know and then it has only the plastic core um, inside and this is plastic but uh, the outer layer is bamboo and then their lip gloss actually uh, is made from uh, these tubes are made moisturizer tube made out of 86 percent sugarcane the lip balm tubes are made from 100% PCR, which is... I really like that because uh, they keep trying to improve their packaging, their ingredients, um, everything that comes in play in their products. And um, that's how they came with the bamboo packaging for the lipsticks and um, lip glosses, you know. So everything there is bamboo is reducing plastic um, overall. Uh, otherwise it, this is in plastic it's a plastic tube i wish it wasn't 
um, but yeah, um, Noya it's made from 100% pure food, so ingredients good to eat. Uh, eco packaging, 70% PCR, uh, bamboo paper, and sugar cane. They are made in USA and they are USDA certified bio based, USDA certified organic products, cruelty free. Uh, everything free, gluten free, paraben free, sulfate free, preservative free. Um, so yeah, amazing, amazing ingredients. Plus, they are super affordable. I I noticed their lipstick; it's eighteen dollars, and then the lip gloss is sixteen dollars. So I, you know, hands down, they are very, very affordable. So we have here, I have two lipstick shades, and then I have two of their lip glosses. And I wanted to try now for such a long time, like, I don't know what I haven't, I didn't splurge on Noya. Uh, I tried their sugar scrub, their lip balm, uh, they are bomb, they are really, really amazing. And then they have lipstick, lip balm, uh, they have a wide range of lipsticks, they have 11 shades of lipsticks and 10 shades of lip gloss, so they have really nice range of products and we have the lipsticks let's see what shades we have here we have african nights and hazelnut cream so these are ooh, very nice very cute so let's watch we have hazelnut cream mm, it has a pleasant scent okay this is moving oh okay very very nice pigmentation in the lipsticks so it kind of has like an oil sand, they don't have like a different sand than that. So we have hazelnut cream and African nights. And yeah, it's more like a pink nude and then the red, it's kind of like an orange kind of based red. But very, very nice. And the packaging is so beautiful, it has these beautiful flowers. Beautiful, beautiful packaging. We have two lip glosses and we have the shades Malbec and African Night. So African Night is like the lipstick color. So I'm going to put it side by side and let's see how that looks like. African Night as a lipstick and as a lip gloss shade. Yeah, it's the same shade. Yeah, it doesn't have a smell, it doesn't have like a fragrance to it. And then this is Malbec. So it's a very vibrant, kind of pink, kind of purplish color. And because I have kind of like a neutral eye today, I am going to use the pinkish lipstick on my lips, which is called Hazelnut Cream. So yeah, this is the lipstick color. It feels very comfortable on my lips actually. I really like how it feels on the lips. It feels like a good pigmentation on the lipstick. So let me give you my final thoughts about all these beautiful products that I tried today. Um, I'm going to start with the foundation. Um, packaging, very interesting. It's a glass and then it has like this beautiful silver kind of color uh, with a pump. So the foundation, the supple foundation, Lisa, it matched me very, very well. I didn't expect it to match me so well. It doesn't feel like sticky or tacky, even after a while now. It's been a while, probably an hour. Um, I didn't set it with powder at all. I didn't uh, see any, uh, any faults in this foundation. It didn't set into my fine lines, which I'm really surprised, even though that I didn't set it. Um, I do start to see my pores a little bit now because I didn't set it with the powder um, but overall this foundation didn't budge like it didn't move at all it didn't crease it didn't show any more imperfections that I expected since I applied it so it kind of blurs the skin you kind of seen that effect with a light kind of mediumish uh, finish I will say oh uh, but yeah, I was quite impressed, actually, that my skin looks like my skin, but better, if I can say that. So, quite surprising for this foundation. 
um, you can see that it did even out my skin tone uh, which is quite great and then we have the palette the principal eyeshadow palette um, I uh, I was quite surprised that so many eyeshadows they kind of you know they are in the same range of colors um, even though they say shimmer they are very very matte all these shades are very matte even though you can see the shimmer uh, I apply extra with a finger in the inner corner of my eye to make it pop uh, it's really hard to make them pop like with a brush uh, if I have my nails grown um, I can apply them with my fingers so other than that they are a little bit on the dusty side you have to be very careful when you press um, in the pan because they create a lot of dust and I'm afraid they might break apart or stuff like that maybe they won't but they are very dusty uh, the shimmery shades uh, I can tell which are the shimmery shades because they have slight slight shimmer in there barely barely noticeable it's really hard to tell which are the shimmery shades um, from the the rest of them we have the light green which is a shimmer shade and you can see kind of the spark the, uh, you know the sparkles in them in the pan but when you apply it uh, you see in my swatch they kind of go not matte but matte satin they are not a full satin but not a matte either like full matte but they're very dusty uh, they are all kind of in the same uh, they have the same feeling um, when you apply them and when you play with them but amazing ingredients in there are I noticed that I have um, mica they have coconut oil jojoba oil vitamin E and then it has the pigments the minerals and amazing amazing sourced it says they are sourced through responsible mica initiative certified organic and non-gmo ingredients in here and then uh, it's vegan the cork palette base is fully compostable the sleeve is 100% recyclable uh, craft board recycle or compost and aluminium pants are 100% recyclable so zero waste palette 100% um, goes for the planet no animal testing amazing amazing what it stands for one of a kind I never seen anything like it before so yeah I'm not sure if it's gonna be travel friendly with the sleeve uh, I'm not sure how good this can protect it but yeah I really like the shades so pigmented the, the browns as you can see the, the dark browns are so pigmented so a little bit goes a long way in there because um, they are amazing I was a little bit on the fence if I like it love it or not there are so many pro and cons in there and I'm not sure about it actually there are some shades that I really love like the dark browns that they are popping instantly they are so pigmented and then we have the other shades that I kind of expected to have a little bit more shimmer and be you know a little bit the opposite of those mattes uh, but they are so similar and especially the kind of the shades are kind of similar in the shade uh, in the colors uh, they are not very different especially the greens the greens look almost the same so I wish there was a little bit more different shades maybe in here or maybe you know a matte feel like a matte and a shimmer be a shimmer uh, something like that make it pop even more but overall 10 points for the zero waste um, packaging and plastic free and all that effort because yeah all those things matter and then we have the lip products Noya Beauty is trying to do their best to bring their amazing ingredients in their products in their packaging I I know they're trying to do good with their bamboo packaging uh, but I'm sure in the, in the future they might go even more sustainable than this they can do they are trying to do more and more amazing products uh, with amazing ingredients I can see that Ecroflame bamboo plastic uh, waste is reducing waste by 60% so just the cap 70% uh, of their plastic is recycled uh, other than that I love the lip glosses actually the shades are so pigmented uh, I'm gonna have to play more with them and tell you more thoughts about them but yeah uh, keep doing good I guess Noya um, and yeah your products totally rock so far everything that I tried from Noya it totally rocked and they are not overpriced and I think even now they are 
uh, selling at Ulta, which is even more convenient. And yeah, I guess we, I can't wait to see more um, non taxi products and zero waste in big stores like that because they make such a huge difference. So this was my first impression videos on these beautiful, beautiful uh, products that I've tried today. Let me know which ones uh, you tried and if you have any favorites between this, uh, let me know uh, which one it's your favorite and which one I should try maybe next. Uh, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and if you want to see more, please subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.